Hi, I'm Dave Linus. I'm president of Linus Welding Training out of Fargo and Bismarck, North Dakota. And today I'm going to show you how to prep a 6 inch Schedule 40 pipe, how to tack it up, and how to weld it in the 1G position. So, what I have here on the table is I've got two grinders. I've got one set up with an eighth inch grinding wheel so I don't have to switch over, another one set up with a wire wheel. A clear face shield for when I'm grinding, I always put my face shield on. We're going to be using 8th inch 6010 5P plus along with uh, I'm going to use a 332 718X caliber for the uh, hot pass and cover pass. I've got my safety glasses and my earplugs, gloves that I like to wear when I'm prepping the pipe and then also my welding gloves. So I'm going to get set up here and I'm going to show you how to grind a root face on the pipe also referred to as a land. We're going to put about an eighth inch root face on this pipe so I'm going to get ready. Okay now I have all my safety gear on, my safety glasses, my face shield, my earplugs, my work gloves and I'm going to uh, grind a root face also referred to as a land on the pipe here so here we go. the root face along with one of my eighth inch electrodes and you can see that I'm getting fairly close I can maybe go a little bit heavier with the root face so I'm going to grind a little bit more on this piece and then I'll prep up the other piece <coughs> okay now that I'm done grinding and filing the inside of the pipe uh, this is what I this is what I'm shooting for right around a 332 to an eighth inch root face okay so now I'm ready to set them up to tack them. So I'm going to show you how I set up my gap rod. I like to use a, a 332 gap rod. Other welders might use an eighth inch but I find that 332 works pretty good for me. So you can either use some TIG wire and bend it or take uh, one of your low high rods, bend it in the middle and then just bust the flux off with your chipping hammer. Okay. Before you tack it up, I'd recommend just fitting up your two pieces of pipe. I like to set up my wire where it's just sticking out the back end. So when I tack it up, I'm going to roll the pipe to show you. So I can tack it up here and then I'll lift the pipe up and pull the gap wire out of it. Okay. So Eyeball everything on the inside, and if you want to just feel on the inside to make sure you've got everything lined up so you don't have any high-low going on on the inside there. Once everything's lined up, let's give it a tack. Okay, so I put about a uh, three-quarter of an inch tack in there so I have plenty of room to grind uh, the stop and start of my tack here. And I'll show you how to feather the tacks back. So right now we want to pull the gap wire out. Sometimes it's easier to pull it right out. If not, we use a pipe wedge. This is a must-have for pipe welders. Get a pipe wedge and slide that inside here. Open it up a little bit on this side. side of this tack here I want to put another tack in there so let's just stick our gap wire back in. Okay. Alright we're going to put in another uh, three quarter inch long tack. Fit up is very important so take your time when you're tacking up this pipe to give yourself a good fit up. Okay here we go. All 
already done. Okay, now we have two tacks in, so I want to put a third and a fourth tack in. So what you want to do is check the gap on your two sides here. Here the 332 rod just slides in. This side here, it's a little, little tight. So what you can do is you can stick your wedge in this side if you want to get it to open up. And then come over here and tack this side here since that was that side was a little bit wider. Okay, let's put another uh, three-quarter song tack in there. Okay, once we have our four tacks in, it looks something like this here on the inside. Okay, I'm going to get set up and show you how to feather the tacks out. <laughs> 